Hello YouTube and friends. Um, so I was requested by I forgot the person's name. Um, but they asked me to make a tutorial on how to clean your braces and an actual close up on what my braces look like and what to move. I'm gonna add in on what to avoid <coughs> when you have braces in. I know you guys probably have like the dentist people who tell you how, but you know sometimes you, you you'll forget. Cause I know I do. And um, so here, um, they have metal. You have metal bands in the back on your back two molars. <coughs> so to keep your mouth aligned or something. So this is the metal band. <coughs> and um, they really they're really pokey and they hurt. And you also have, uh, they give you this wax thing, I have here, see, it's called wax knifers, um, orthodontic mint wax, excuse me, so they look like this, Let's see, these little waxy strips, and when you put these in, make sure that your mouth, your, like, teeth are dry and not wet, or else they won't stay in long enough. So, there's that. I was also actually wearing a night guard on my teeth because they, uh, they help keep a good space between your lip area and your teeth right here. So, I actually have the, uh, waxy stuff in my mouth right now. Oh, sorry, I'm a little shaky. Yeah. And, um, so... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Um, so, these are the... wire. And, um, I actually have a... Or had something that tells you about what is in your mouth. <laughs> so, as you can see, my mouth is pretty crooked. So, um, they give you these, um, oral B interdental brush thingies that you put in between your teeth. And, uh, these are what they look like. And, um, they give you one of these to, uh, get a better look at the inner sides of your teeth. Ah, yeah. So there's that. And, um... You also get a interdental brush thing. It's oral B. So I guess this is top notch stuff, huh? And um it's, like it's a whole pack thing for it. Uh, here is a, a threaded cloth. So um hold on. And, um so, you also would like, uh, would recommend you get this, ACT, uh, Total Care Anti-Cavity Fluoride for Sensitive Teeth. If you have sensitive to cold uh, teeth, gums, because I do, and it really hurts when you drink water, cold water, uh, or chew on ice or something, and um, you also will want healthy gums, soft picks for your mouth, and uh, so that is what they look like. You break them off and um, go between your teeth. So, the dentist told me that, or the orthodontist told me that I have to brush my teeth three times a day. It, you would most likely want to carry a toothbrush with you 
or if you don't have time for that to um, rinse your mouth out with water so that you don't have um, dirty gums. So, and this toothbrush here was given to me by the dentist lady. I'm really shaky, sorry. And uh, it comes with this, um, what are you going to see? It's got this, like that, and in between the brackets. So, uh, it just slides like this, and, oh. um, and, um, would also need a ultra thin um, a threader, another threader for flossing around the bridges and the braces. So it's called uh, plaque smackers. And um, so there's that. And to in order to floss, you might want some floss. Floss is good. Sorry, phone slipped. You are also given a another toothbrush for whatever reason. Um, and this is what the oh, sorry, I'm really shaky. I can't keep a hold of my phone. It goes on forever. Look, look, it is. Calm down. Um, so this is what the threader looks like, and uh, you just so you just want to place the thread piece, oops, thread or the floss in between here, like so, and tie it in a knot, like so. Sorry. Um. Like that. And then you just place it in between here of of your floss like this, uh, um, like floss. So, so you're going to do that three times a day in order to keep your mouth um, clean so that you don't get um, plaque buildup and so that your gums don't swell up with fluids because that's not good. And um, I actually haven't opened this yet, so I guess I could do that now in order to keep my mouth clean, right? So, um, just hate packages. Gosh. Oh, I just punched myself in the stomach. Aiming for to and um, you might want so you have to be really careful that you don't lose these little pieces. Let's see, it's really tiny, and you just place it in there like that, or something like that. Oh, yeah, so, and it goes in through there like that. And then you place this down so that you don't lose it. And you just clean. You you use a smaller one to get to the really tight spaced areas like right here. Ouch. And so there's that. I have that there. And they also give you a travel pack to brush for when you're like out at places 
um, they also give you um, these are just closing tablets. You um, put it in your mouth and you chew on it for about a minute or so, and um, it's going to show you what places you missed. So you use these about three weeks after you've um, after you've had good hygiene, after you've had the braces, in order to work. You don't want to keep them in your mouth for too long, or else they will... And you have to make sure you do this at night, because they will stain your lips. <laughs> and, you know, that's not very attractive. So, yeah. So, um... And now on to the part where you... I have... I can tell you what to not eat and what you can eat. My... Oh! I also have here this... Campo Finic, whatever you want to call this, it's for cold sores, but, um, I don't have cold sores, I don't have herpes, it's okay, and, um, but I use these because it numbs your, numbs your gums, because I have a canker sore in here because of these, and it numbs it, I would suggest using this a lot more than what you, see, I told you, another wax piece, just fell out of my mouth. I don't re recommend eating it because it's really gross. Um, so this here, it's um, just place a little bit on your gum area where it hurts, and it will numb it for a little while. Uh, or but it tastes disgusting, so be careful. I warned you. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Let's see what um. If you have sensitive teeth like me, I w and you want to protect yourself against acid wear from pop, candy, or anything else, you can use pro uh Sensodyne. So that's good for you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, I'm sorry if you can't really hear me. I have to like um, hold my phone against my mom's um. I cleansing stuff. Um, I'll hold it now. Cause, yeah. Um, so I think I just went through all of my stuff to show you to help you with all of that. So see my little mess I made of stuff. So excuse me. Things to watch out for. Absolutely no gum because that's that's an absolute no no they'll it'll like the suction between the gum and your teeth will um see the canker star right there um it'll wear out your uh your braces and they it's not that's not good no apples, unless you break up little pieces, like a good, that size. Um, bananas the same, um, so no gum, no taffy, uh, no carrots. Um, what you can eat, mostly liquids, I would suggest. You can have sandwiches, but you would really want to break those into, you know, bite-sized pieces and then place them, like, in the back that your back teeth can chew on them, and, um, so, that's that, and, um, I hope this helps, I mean, I, I, this is the first tutorial I've ever made about anything, so, uh, don't, don't, just, just love it, okay, uh, so, so, if you're gonna have top ramen or noodles, break those up before you eat them, so that they don't hurt. So there's that. And you want to have yogurt, pudding, applesauce, and warm liquids. So that would help you too. And um, uh, 
I'm gonna have to let you guys run out, so fair winds, YouTube, and I will see you all later.